well. Unfortunately, it took a turn for the worse in game two, and Big D just showed why he's BC's best. Yeah, I saw that. He was so dominant in that second game. Also, I might be a bit far. Oh yeah, I was like this. This is good. But we have four people from Victoria that made it through pools. We have Messiah, number one seed, the Robin. Nice. We have Mono, our number fifth seed, who plays Corrin. And then we also have Espeon CH, my doubles partner, who plays Link. So that was kind of exciting. He came second in Elphicans pool. Wow, this aggressive pressure from Exodia starting off with that cancel into the jab. That was a very smart thing to do. Just finding a setup into the fastest move right there. Right now, it's looking like he's trying to find some baits right there with that Zmatos. Can't know, finding, the, finding the aggressive option to counteract that. That was a good usage of quick attack right there, beating out the spot dodge and just zipping right back to get that hit, trying to find a confirm off of it. Back here, Z is just now on the platform here. Captain though is just taking him all over the stage right now. Bear's Bear and Quick Attack are making making work right now. Like man, Zero Suits and Samus are struggling with those approaches. <laughs> But these jabs from ZSS definitely really helping uh, Zodia to stuff out Captain L whenever he's to, whenever he's close up. Definitely very advantageous from. Ooh. Oh, nice setup right there. Getting the space to get that down smash off very of the fun to watch, those I must jabs. Admit. Yeah, definitely. ZSS very has a lot of really cool setups to watch, and just the way that ZSS can really compensate for a lot of things. I've been yeah. seeing that a lot lately, and it's been really. Really cool. And every ZSS, like, I mean, everyone plays their characters different, but ZSSs can definitely have their own flavor. For that dash sure. attack is gonna kill. Get in the sweet spot on that. At the corner of the stage. Damn, that was taking the advantage there. Definitely starting to get something going here with ZSS pushed it into the corner. That was a good use I of Paralyzer. Oh, Ooh, since that's, when is Pikachu a heavyweight? I wished that kill because that Paralyzer was super smart for beating out the Quick Attack. Shouldn't be, we be supporting our BC brothers? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh my god. That was just so much damage right there from that edge guard. Oh. That Nair, the second hit, did not do it. The whip isn't going to do much either there, but almost the grappling, grappling hook oh, yeah. and the up out of shield. Very, very solid kill option. Don't touch my shield. <laughs> Seriously. Do not touch your shield. Hey, right, well, ZSS is now playing a bit with this stage control, trying to use that paralyzer to stuff out quick attack again, not getting the timing that time. Definitely a really good option to just keep him still. Oh, he's looking for the jab box up right there. And then noticing that Exodia, so far on his, um... Oh my god! How did he read that? He left? Oh, he got a taunted too. Yeah, th that was a really good read though, because like... So far Exodia's been nothing but get-up... Exodia's been doing a lot of get-up attacks and unfortunate flub right there, but um... What I, what I noticed from that condition, that was just really good call out right there, because he was doing a lot of get-up attacks and then he decided to roll in after doing that. And that wasn't something that I saw him do at all in the set. So, so just that call gets him in that position. Exodia trying to finish to get something going off of that upper train, and unfortunately, he's not going to make it back. This time. Regardless, going to go on to Here's game, game two. Going to see. Taking it to Dreamland. We're going to see if the um, higher elevated uh, platforms in the Smash Bowl, Blast Zone, will aid Zero Suit getting these kills a bit earlier, especially with Puff. I'm not Puff, what Pikachu? <laughs> Pikachu being pretty late. As we saw on Battlefield, he lived for a very long time on that first stock too. When we th when we thought that up B should have killed. Definitely should have. Battlefield's high boss is definitely helping out in that situation. Okay, good grab on that landing right there. Oh. Pikachu reversing that, not getting as much, nearly as much as he assessed though. No, definitely not. That was interesting. He used the disjoint of Zero Suit's up air to, to trade with Pikachu's Thunder Jolt to not take damage from it. And to also just have a hitbox out. 
really cool. Back throw down B never works. <laughs> never works. It works on me sometimes. But don't tell the Zero Suit Sam since I that I play with that though. Ooh, that was a juicy ledge cancel. Okay, Capnell with this ledge pressure right now. Oh, he almost gets that read, but facing the wrong way right there. Ooh, looking for it all, trying to see if he would go if he would go above the ledge. He has not done that once. So. Zodia definitely very great conserved on his ledge get up on, on his ledge options. Definitely could be either one's favor here. Oh, wow, that mash out. Oh, I think he looked for the down smash there. Very good grab to get the B reverse thunder. Get that sock done. And now Captain, Captain L sitting with the lead once again. Is it going to be stripped from him? No, not enough percent for that uppy out of shield to kill there. Grabbed. Go through. Looking for a mix up there. Very aggressive up B right there. Cap no playing very patiently there. Very good. Center stage between Pikachu and CSS. Ah. Good ol's there. Ooh, that down smash almost connected on Cap no there. B no? I don't blame Exodia for going for all these up Bs. It's just he wanna wants, end this stock and he really wants to get this off before too much extra credit yes. is done to him. Nice. I think oh. he definitely feels like he's and an SDI out playing better from here. Captain L. But, you know, both really good in their respective regions, so. Oh, there you Wouldn't go. Doubt that. And the hits done from down throw at that percent definitely will lead up into that upper. So now, what's Zero Suit Samus' down throw up air called? Is there a name for that one? No. <laughs> no, there isn't, but. Like, I feel like it's too inconsistent for it to really have a name. Yeah, and the funny thing is, Zero Suit Samus usually kills her opponents with something else before that even becomes an option. Yeah. Uh, I think guys, we're actually doing pretty oh, good. so for much leg on a missed grab with Zero Suit Samus. Here. Uh, it's beautiful. We actually have the ring, uh, but then again, uh, us being Yoshi beans, at least Zero Suit Samus gets some good uh, rewards uh, for getting these grabs. Um, we get nothing. So, crew battles will fucking go for sure. Um, <laughs> And we'll probably be here for two. That was a very good uh, flip kick to get out of that option. Uh, the intangibility frames. Oh, beautiful. That both has early intangibility frames that Exodia was able to abuse there. And very good pressure oh, right now. I'm noticing nice. Captain L being pushed into the corner a lot more now. And Exodia is definitely taking good advantage definitely of Definitely bringing it. Oh! I mean, uh, we say that, but that Zare didn't hit anything. And Pikachu no. can just go underneath that and then flip his tail up, take it out. Kevin, we'll move on to winner's semis. Does this 